Hey guys, that one Brony258 here, back with more videos and such. This time it is LEGO Racers for the N64. Uh, fun fact, this is actually my third time trying to record this. Because the first time, uh, it crashed as soon as I started. The second time, hopefully it doesn't do what I'm about to say. But I started a, I started a circuit, and as soon as I uh, as soon as I finished the circuit, the game crashed on me. And I was originally going to uh, let's make a cowboy, I guess. I was originally going to do it because I do have the original uh, N64 uh, version with me. But for some reason, uh, when I tried hooking that up to my hodgepodge, big surprise, it didn't work. So I had to get an emulator for it, and that's what I'm playing this on right now, for the third time. And I'm just hoping it doesn't crash on me later. Sure, Red Racer. Uh, player, sounds like a perfect name. face the whole time. Uh, how do I... There we go. I forgot how hard it was to use an Xbox controller with this. I'm like trying to remember how to place all the blocks. Oh wait, it's only three? Uh, there you go. Nope, nope. The left, the right, down, no. Nope. Come on. There we go. some fire. Oh, I really can't. I'm right back. Yeah, I forgot. No, 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 no. Put that back down. Perfect. Finish. Now, let's go to our first circuit race with player, the red racer, against our first component.
I was originally going to do his voice, but I've already done it twice, so I'm not going to do it again. So I have to make a horrible pirate. And we're off! I need that OP warp. Oh no, he took it. The dingus. No, 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 back up. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm going through time anyway. Hey, what's up, boys? British. I'm not questioning it. Not at all. No. Oh, GC is way ahead. I suck at this game. I don't know about shortcuts without my level. Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Because if it does, I'm going to be sad. To the dark forest. Controls. Look at how touchy they are, and non-responsive they are. Surprisingly, they are both at the same time. Come on, I've missed it three times. There we go. At least keep up with him. And then get one, uh, two more white blocks. Uh, for those who've never played this game, I should probably explain that. Uh, there's four kinds of things there's blue, which is defense or shields, green, which is boost, red, which is uh, power, like cannonballs or whatever, and then there's yellow, which is like oil slicks and stuff. Uh, basically, there is an OP thing that if you get four whites, oh, also white, if you uh, get whites, they upgrade your attack. You can upgrade it three times. Uh, if you get a four whites and one green, you get the warp speed, which I showed off uh, earlier on the last map, or right now, which just shoots you way into the lead, which is what I need right now. The, the opponent, the one you always uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against, which in this case would be Redbeard. He is very uh, weapon savvy, and he likes red, which is the cannonballs, so he'll always try and go for the reds. And each uh, opponent you fight, or main opponent, or like a boss I should say, has their own thing. His is, you know, like I just said, uh, the cannonballs. Oh, these controls are kind of... I can't even describe it. They're, like, responsive, but at the same time too responsive. But then at another time, they'd be like, you have no control over it. Like right now. Turn left. Okay, there we go. Every time I say, oh, they suck. 
could have waited for that white, but whatever. I'm in the lead anyway. Like, I didn't want to press it too much, or else I'd be flying over there. Also, if you noticed uh, there, to the right, oh, no, it can't show you anymore. Oh, okay. Thought the game crashed. It did. It was close, though. Oh, okay. It's the first time he's ever used uh, speed. I'll just use it right back. Yeah, well, I was going to say there's a mechanic to this map, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Because the race is done. That one was much easier than before. There's usually a gimmick to every map. Uh, the first one was those barrels, which you can shoot through. The second one was the ghosts. The third one was the door. And then this one, here's another uh, shootable door. Oh, Redbeard's in last. Well, second to last, I should say, because I'm in last. I'm going to need at least one red to open the door. But I don't want all four at the same time, damn it. Right where the Sphinx is, right where we just passed. Usually if you're up in first, it's either good to keep a lot of greens on you or a lot of blues on you, depending on where you are. Because uh, if uh, Redbeard comes up right behind you, like he just did, Oh, you yeah, actually can't shoot it. Okay, so this is the secret. There's uh, three whites and one red or one green. Usually it's just good to go for the green. For obvious reasons. He's gonna try and shoot me, isn't he? You can usually hear if a cannonball is... You get that little... sissing noise. I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, that. One more. And boom. And now will it crash? Because this is where it crashed last time. And no. All right. Success. Oh, congratulations, you won Redbeard's card set. You've unlocked a new circuit. So, when it says you unlock the car set, um, you can edit your driver with, uh, Redbeard stuff, so now you get his face and his like equipment and stuff, and his peg leg. But I won't do that. And you also get his uh, his build parts. So oh, uh, oh, what is it? yeah, so now you get his build parts too, and you get that for back down there. You go. And you get that for every circuit you complete. So for this circuit, which is this guy, we will get his uh, items 